God, I love a good ground slam ability. Geeks, nerds, gamers, and trolls, this is your MMOBomb.com. First look at Predecessor, a MOBA that is uh, back from the dead under a new name, new developers. All the assets are there, though. If you were a fan of Paragon back in the day, this is going to be your jam right here. This is Predecessor. This is the rebirth of Paragon. And what they're doing is bringing the game back. They've got all the assets, all the characters, and they've done a great job, Omita Studios has, of recreating the Paragon game and introducing some new elements to it. There's a new map, a new game mode, and some other interesting features we're going to take a look at in this first look video. As always, this is a first look, not an in-depth review or an expert guide, so take it for what it is. It's just to help you to get an idea of what the game looks like, plays like, sounds like. And help you decide if it's a game that you want to download and try for yourself. It is free to play. You can download it off of Steam. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get the game. Try it out. Third person MOBA, as you can tell from the video footage. Uh, sort of reminiscent of Smite a little bit. Uh, the gameplay is not really the same. But, you know, that third person MOBA view, you're going to draw some parallels to Smite. And, you know, of course, Paragon back in the day. So we're going to take a look at what the game has to offer. And, and you know, see see what's going on here, cause uh, you know, for me, it's it's a serviceable MOBA. It, it gets the job done. It does MOBA things as it should. So we'll talk a little bit more in depth. Take a look at the cash shop and do some other things as we uh, sort of venture along on this gameplay. Now, of course, this isn't the first time somebody's tried to reuse Paragon. You've got examples like Paragon the Overprime that never actually made it out of early access. This is officially launched. This is 1.0. This is actually 1.02, I believe, is the patch that they're currently on. They just dropped uh, a new patch with some updates and things like that. So, yeah, it, it's, it's an officially launched game. has a pretty decent player base. I've had no trouble getting into matches uh, other than one, one late night. Uh, I spent like 10 minutes in queue and never could get a match. But other than that, I've had no problems getting into matches within just uh, you know two or three minutes. Uh, I think the longest, other than that 10-minute anomaly, that I don't know what was going on that night. I think the longest I've waited is like five minutes to get into a game. So, it, you know, it's been pretty good. Uh, here I'm playing Argus, a mid laner, a champion, and a role that, as you can tell from the footage, I am not comfortable with at all. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. The game that I decided to record. This is the this is the role that I got assigned. So this is us just doing our best, trying not to lose our lane too bad, and <laughs> hopefully, you know, helping the team during team fights. Spoiler alert: uh, I don't lose the lane too bad. Uh, I do go down 0-1 to this Gideon, uh, but I do get my kill back here in a few minutes. But during team fights, I'm, I'm not very effective because I'm not comfortable with the champion at all. And I don't really play mages in anything, MOBAs, MMOs, whatever. So I'm just trying to do my best not to be terrible. But the team, you know, we got pooped on pretty hard. So, you know, as this goes along, you'll see me and my teammates dying quite a bit. So it is what it is. This is the game we recorded. It had the most team fights and things like that in it. Uh, the two or three games that I recorded so this is actually the most interesting footage out of the bunch uh, unfortunately it's a game that we lose uh, pretty solidly so take it for what it is I'm not an expert predecessor player and I am definitely not a mid laner uh, FYI now that all the excuses for my poor gameplay are out of the way let's talk about what the game has to offer it is a third person MOBA uh, as we've talked about it is actually combat. You do have to target your abilities, uh, your basic attacks, things like that. So everything's a skill shot, as you would expect in a third-person MOBA. It does offer, you know, the jungle. You've got a jungler. You've got an offlaner. You've got the duo lane with your attack damage carry and your support, as you would imagine. Then your mage usually goes in the mid lane. So the, the meta is pretty similar to most other MOBAs. And, and what role goes where, and kind of what their role in the team fight is. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the offlaners can be fighters or tanks. Uh, your supports can be healers or tanks, 
and then you've got your ADC and you've got your jungler, which of course tends to be like assassins, high damage, you know, carries, a lot of melee carries, things like that come out of the jungle. Normally I'm a tank player, uh, whether it's support or coming out of the, the off lane, doesn't really matter to me. Uh, so I like Steel, I like Greystone, and I like uh, Terra a lot. Greystone's not necessarily a, a, like a tank tank, but he, he is a beefier fighter. He's like a brawler uh, for you League of Legends fans out there. So those, those are the guys that I usually like to play and kind of the roles that I usually play, either support or off lane, playing uh, something that's pretty beefy, pretty tanky. I like to initiate ten fights. I like to go in, raise hell, walk away. That's my play style. But yeah, this is what uh, Predecessor has to offer. Third-person MOBA, action combat, everything's a skill shot. Uh, you, you've got different roles. You've got characters that fill different roles. You've got the meta of which lane you're going to play out of for, for the most part. Of course, you can, if you're in a, a five-stack or something like that, you can feel free to shake that up, obviously. Uh, but, but there is sort of an established meta that's pretty, pretty you know, on par with all the other MOBAs out there. Uh, the gameplay itself... The, the laning phase, you have the long extended laning phase, which is kind of what we're showing here. Um, you know, you want to last hit minions. There's no creep denial, but you want to last hit creeps to get gold and XP. You want to, you know, keep an eye out for the jungle and not get ganked. You want to rotate if you've got a free moment like I'm doing right now, trying to rotate over and help support a, a lane that's getting pushed a little bit. So, you know, it does all the MOBA things, and it does it pretty serviceably. And I've, I've enjoyed my time in the game. I can't say that it's not fun, but it's not, like, really sucked me in. Um, I'm level four or five now in the game, which isn't, which isn't all that high. I've played, you know, a dozen games or so of Predecessor. And... It hasn't really sucked me in. I would, I would rather, especially with some. You look at, you know, the some of the competition out there right now. You've got Smite Two out in open beta right now that you can jump in and play, and it's twenty four seven beta, and I can just go play that. And of course, now I have a lot of time and money invested in Smite, and so I'm very familiar with Smite, Smite Two, the the gods, the gameplay, the metas, you know what everybody does uh, i can you know counter more characters because i know more what more characters do in smite smite 2 and so for me i'd rather go play smite 2 uh if i want a third person moba fix uh, but that isn't to say that this is bad especially when you look at things like look, look at the map you've got more verticality in the map you've got ups and downs in the map where you look at something like smite or smite 2 everything is super flat so you do have the ability to be above your opponents and snipe down on them in certain positions on the map. Uh, you do have the ability to sneak around and, and kind of be up under your opponent and sneak around a ledge, things like that. Certain things that you can't do that aren't available in the map since Smite and Smite 2. But at the end of the day, for me, personal opinion time, this is just a serviceable MOBA. Um, it looks fantastic, don't get me wrong. It still looks as good as it did back in the day. Uh, back when this first launched, this was, you know, this was some next level graphics for a MOBA uh, at the time that Paragon launched. I mean, it was a fantastic looking game when Paragon launched. And it's still a very good looking game. Uh, other games have caught up a little bit. They've had graphical updates. They've had engine updates, things like that, to, to help catch up graphically. Uh, and what I would say something like Paragon had an advantage over them with back in the day, which was some of the, you know, the ups and downs of the map, some of the verticality. Um, you know, it's not a ton of verticality, but there is some ups and downs in the maps. Like I said, you can, you can perch up above some opponents and team fights and things like that and snipe down at them. But, you know, it's things like that that, that give it, that set, help set it apart from something like Smite 2. And then you've got, you know, the established Paragon players from back in the day who absolutely loved the game whenever Epic ditched it because Fortnite got so huge. They just kicked Paragon to the curb. And now it's back in the form of Predecessor uh, from a new studio. And it's back alive. And you had a player base back then for it. It wasn't huge. It wasn't groundbreaking. It wasn't obviously making bank and, you know, making epic just tons and tons of money or they would have stuck with it over you know at least beside fortnite 
Fortnite started making so much money and this was making so little money that they just dished it all together. But you know, what you've got now is still an established player base that's happy to have the game back. And you've got somewhere to start with, which is fantastic to see that there are players online. Uh, you can go to Steam Charts, and there's, you know, a few thousand players online. Uh, like I said, I've had no problem getting games and things like that. But at the end of the day, gameplay-wise, it's still just a standard MOBA. It, it, it loses some of the edges it might have had from back in the day when it originally launched as Paragon. Uh, you know, it doesn't have as many advantages as it did and things to set it apart as it did back then. Especially with things like Smite 2 with the engine upgrade and, and other MOBAs have, you know, evolved and made themselves look prettier and look better and, and have players that have spent more time and energy in those games already established that may, you know, may, maybe they're not looking to move to another MOBA. Maybe they'll give this a shot and take a look at it but not necessarily looking to move to another MOBA completely. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. You've got your established player base that never was humongous to begin with, and so you're not going to have all of them coming back immediately. You know, the word's got to get out that the game is back and that it's good, which it is. They've done a great job of bringing the game back. Everything seems functional. Everything runs great. Uh, it runs better than it did back in the day. Uh, I remember it being a little bit choppy back in the day, but of course, you know, it's still the same game, same engine, and all that, and hardware has, you know, obviously progressed, and I've improved my computer a couple of different times since, uh, you know, since Paragon initially launched. So it, it probably runs better than it ever has on current gen hardware. And then you've got, you know, graphically it still looks fantastic. It doesn't set itself apart nearly as much as it used to, but it's still a really good looking game. And gameplay-wise, you know, it does its job. It, it, it's a MOBA that's, that's fun, it's fast-paced, It's everything's a skill shot, which is really is under really a good way to set itself apart from something like League of Legends, which, you know, top-down, but not everything is a skill shot in League of Legends. And I keep bringing up Smite, Smite 2, and League of Legends, because those are the ones that I'm most familiar with. Those are the MOBAs I have the most time in, so I, I want to just say the words real quick dota 2 that way you know you dota fans know that i haven't just forgotten about you i just don't have nearly as much time and familiarity with dota 2 as i do smite and league of legends let's uh end this first look by taking a look at the cash shop i'm sure everybody's curious um it's all cosmetics there there's nothing pay to win in here there's no no boosts or anything like that. Uh, you do have to pay with either the premium currency or the in-game currency you earn to unlock some characters. The game comes with a handful of characters already unlocked. And, of course, there's a free rotation. But you will have to unlock characters. But there's a pass that you can purchase which gives you a, a big chunk of the characters. Not all of them. But it does give you a big chunk of the characters. Or you can do them individually with the in-game currency, you know, as you earn it to unlock everything. But it, it's all skins and unlocks for characters. And things like recall skin auras and trails when you jump off that boost coming out of your base. Little trails that you leave behind when you do that. And banners and stuff that like that you can earn through mastery of the, the different heroes. So there, there's lots of cosmetics in the game that you can purchase or you can ignore completely if you want to. Now, unfortunately, it does have the system where you have to purchase a set amount of the platinum and then spend it in the cash shop. And, of course, you're going to have some left over here and there. And then, oh, well, I've got this much. I might as well buy some more to buy the next thing. So it does have a little bit of a predatory system as far as that, but, you know, a lot of games do that nowadays. Uh, most games I can think of off the top of my head do that. There's very few direct purchase games nowadays. So, you know, buy your platinum, buy your skins. That's all that's in the cash shop. So to wrap things up, since I've rambled long enough, this is a serviceable MOBA that does all the things you would expect a third-person MOBA to do with the skill shots, a little bit of verticality. And, and lots of heroes to choose from. Uh, all the ones you're familiar with from the Paragon days are in Predecessor. Uh, they've done a great job of, of taking those assets and getting them back into the game, making the gameplay feel good. Uh, it is, once you get out of the landing phase, the team fights and stuff are fast paced. The, the combat is nice and fast paced. Uh, lots of action, lots of good times. So 
you know, if you want to check it out, it's it's free to download and try. Uh, like I said, you can buy that pack to unlock a big chunk of the heroes if you want to, or you don't have to. You can just use the in-game currency that you earn as you go along to unlock the characters. Um, it is a little slow to earn, but, you know, it, it is there. It is something you can do, so you got to take that for what it is. Uh, but, you know, good-looking game, good-looking MOBA. This is Predecessor, and this has been your first look. Hopefully it's uh, helped you decide whether it's something you want to download and try for yourself. Because at the end of the day, that's the goal of these videos. So thank you so very much for watching. We certainly appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And give us a thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Uh, thumbs down for my terrible gameplay. Thumbs up for my awesome commentary. Um, appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to head over to MMOBomb.com. Check out all the latest news and information on all the online games that you need to know about. Until next time, I've been the new Fresh Troy Blackburn. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. For now, this first look is done. I am out. <laughs>